Hi there, I'm Francesco Caliva. I'm a postdoc at UCSF. Today I will present our work Virtual Bone Shape Aging. Neostetritis is a complex joint disease with a prevalence approaching 5% worldwide. While OA development involves all tissues of the knee joint, it is considered to be mechanically driven by load-dependent changes in the subchondral bone. It is currently understood and supported by studies that bone shape plays a very important role in, in OA and is in fact considered a relevant biomarker. As such, bone shape changes could be used in contexts such as patient management or surgical planning. With that in mind, in this study we aim to explore the usage of deep learning to predict bone shape changes in a time frame of 48 months on subjects with and without osteoarthritis. We use 3D sagittal desks from the osteoarthritis initiative where almost 5,000 subjects were scanned at seven different time points spanning over eight years. About 2,000 subjects met the criteria for being included in the study. Subjects were included if, if MRIs from three consecutive time points were available, and there was also available an additional MRI at a 48 months distance from the last seen time point. To train our deep learning models, participants were organized in train validation and test set, controlling for BMI, age and sex statistical independence across the three speeds. In this study, we predicted changes in the femoral and tibial bone shape for the months from the last observed time point. This study builds on our previous work in which bones of the knee joint were accurately segmented using a deep learning approach. Following the segmentation, the binary masks were encoded into these spherical maps, which in the same study have proven powerful in diagnosing and predicting future OA. The spherical maps in the figure capture femoral bone surface shape. Given the spherical maps computed at three different time points, these are concatenated channel-wise to form an RGB-like image, which is then inputted in a 2D vignette, which is tasked to learn the trajectory of shape changes in four years. Our model was trained using a multi-term loss function comprising both structural similarity and mean absolute error to preserve local details and avoid averaging effect from the L1 loss alone. We designed with a multiple sets of experiments. The first one consists of predicting directly the bone shape 48 months later. What we observed in this experiment is a strong bias of the network to produce a prediction which is as close as possible to the third input time point. We call this one the a copycat effect. But from th signal theory, a way to mitigate this problem and prevent the model from just copying the input is to add noise to the input and transform the model to a denoising out encoder. So we corrected the input with, spheric, uh, with the white noise and predicted bone shape four years later. Ultimately, we designed a third approach in which we task our model to directly predict the change of shape over the 48 months, and we call this model delta shape. In practice, this approach was, works better than the others. So I will focus the analysis on this approach. To evaluate our shape prediction, uh, the prediction error is analyzed in terms of uh, mean absolute error and visual quality in terms of structural similarity. The results here are reported for the whole population, denoted with all, but is also stratified based on the uh, OA status. Group OA-OA is the group of subjects which had already OA at the third input time point. Not OA-OA is the group of patients which developed OA during the 48 months which is, the part, is a particular interesting group because it represents the patients for which we could predict incidence of OA. Not OA, OA is the control group throughout the study. As we can observe from this analysis, the model didn't degrade with respect to the OA status, and the error is in the MRI pixel size range. In this image, uh, we show a comparison between the derived and predicted bone shape changes. As we can see on the left, there is a preservation of the changes in the intercondylar notch as well as in the uh, trochlea. In the, uh, here I show the result related to the tibia, study 5 for the same four groups. Also for the tibia, model performance didn't degrade irrespective of the OA status. Visually inspecting the uh, performance uh, on the tibia, we can observe that details uh, changes have been preserved or well correctly predicted in the medial tibia. So changes of bone shapes are uh, precursors, or precursors of uh, osteoarthritis, 
and being able to characterize these changes before the manifestation of the disease can greatly impact patient management. Our work is oriented towards clinical trial, where it is preferable to predict precise patient-specific trajectory of, the changes, of changes. We observe that deep learning models can capture and predict trajectory of local changes in bone surface shape over time. To conclude, in the study, we predicted femoral and tibial bone shape changes in a cohort of patients with osteoarthritis and cortical groups 48 uh, months ahead of time. I would like to thank my team of co-workers at UCSF, the funding sources, and of course you for your kind attention. Thank you.